Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel for a new video and I'm really, really excited for today's video. So today we're gonna be unboxing a Soundbrenner Core Steel. Soundbrenner was nice enough to send one of these out for us to check out. I'm gonna do an unboxing video and just as I have done with unboxing videos in the past, I'm gonna follow this video up in a week or two with a review video talking about what I find with the product and how it's working and all that kind of stuff. So you can expect that later down the line. So what exactly is the Core Steel? What are we gonna be unboxing today? Essentially, this is the follow-up product to the Soundbrenner Pulse. And the Soundbrenner Pulse, the original product, the original version of this, was simply a wearable vibrating metronome. That's the idea behind like the main functionality in this device, is it kind of sits on your wrist or on your chest and it will vibrate along to a tempo. Now there's a lot more features that have come out with this newer iteration of the Pulse that they're calling the Core Steel. We're going to take a look at those guys today. So just reading the box, some of the things that they have included in the box, of course the core is in here. There's a leather strap for wearing it as a wristwatch. There's also a silicone strap, I guess probably because of sweat, that kind of thing. If I'm going to be playing with this at the kit, of course, I'm going to be putting on the silicone strap, not the leather, because that leather is going to get soaked. There's a body strap, so you can wear this around your chest, a charging cable, magnetic tuning mount, and the little image they have here actually is on the neck of a guitar. So I guess you could use this to like as a guitar tuner as well. There's a pair of ear plugs actually included in this, and then a carrying pouch. And then just at the bottom, they have the companion app, customized vibrations and lights, colors, build set lists, and more. Get it on Google Play and App Store. So clearly, there is some functionality with the phone and some of the features that this guy includes. With all that said, let's just get into unboxing it. So real simple, we'll just slip off that sleeve. It says designed for musicians by Soundbrenner. Play better anytime, anywhere. We have a Bluetooth logo on the box as well. So I guess there's some Bluetooth functionality in this device. The side is just magnetic. So I'm just gonna pop open the magnets on the side. And then there's a little sticker here at the bottom. I'm just gonna remove and it will open up front wise. So there we go. I guess here we're, that looks like the, looks like the, like the carry bag pouch kind of thing. As far as like the presentation in this unboxing experience, really great job on their part. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking. The way they have this set up, you kind of open it like a book and there's all of the product. Uh, I don't know what this is though. www.soundbrenner.com slash start. Oh, this looks like instruction manuals. There is a, so right here there is Oh, it just fell off. Uh, that's one half. So attached to this guy right here, you can kind of see it. That right there is the silicone strap. So pull that off. There's uh, stickers? Yeah, some stickers. Tuner mount adhesives. Your tuner mount already has an adhesive pre-applied, but there's a few extras. No worries, they won't leave any residue on your instrument. Oh, okay. Uh, share and win. Uh, we need your support. Please leave us a review at the place purchased. It would mean the world. For example, Sweetwater, Amazon, whatever, whatever. Okay, so here's the actual box itself. Oh, that's what it's looking like inside. So it looks like we have like this top row. I think this is the device itself. Yep. It literally just comes like that. There's nothing attached to it at the moment. I guess there's just a lot of customization. It's very modular, it looks like. Okay, so there, that looks like the base of the back of it or something. I don't know, is this like a magnet? Oh, it is. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. So I just took, is it gonna let me release it? How do I release it? That's smart that I can't just pull it off. I mean, drumming around, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how to get that off, but I'm gonna take a look at what else is in this box and then we'll come back to actually setting it up. So caution, strong magnet, okay. Oh, okay, so there's like this little magnet guy here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's getting in focus. Doesn't look like it is. Uh, Lindsay, can you get that? It looks like this is how you actually mount it to like a guitar. If you wanted to put it on the neck of a guitar, you, I guess you would apply this magnet adhesive to the neck. And then whenever you wanted to take it off the wrist to use it as a tuner, take it off the strap, just pull it off the strap and then put it on the neck kind of thing. And then I guess you just start up the functionality that will help you tune your instrument. Uh, this just looks like a charging cable. Wall end will be USB, there we have a USB there. And this guy is some kind of proprietary. It looks like it's magnetic, let me see. Yeah, so it's magnetic, it just kind of locks in there. So when I go to charge it, snaps on. At the bottom of the box, I have this little guy. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Oh, earbuds, that's kind of cool. I don't, I'm not too sure why they include the earbuds, but 
Very cool. I have a pair of earplugs if I want them. I like how I can just attach this to my keychain and then I got earplugs wherever I go. Definitely gonna keep this on me for going to shows. When I'm in the studio space, there's not gonna be as much of a need to have this on me because my headphones are down there, my ears, that kind of stuff. But, but this will make like a great accessory for going to concerts um, and then just anywhere else that's really loud and we gotta protect the ears. All right, so the last thing in the box at the bottom here is uh, what looks to be like the body strap. There's like a lot of fabric in here, so I think yeah, so that's probably the body strap. I don't know if I'm gonna end up using that strap at all, but we'll see. I mean, this whole concept is like, it's very intriguing to me. Ever since I saw ads running for this product, I mean, all over YouTube at one point, especially when it was first launched, the Pulse that is, I wanted to try it. Like the idea is so, it's interesting, right? Cause it's like, when I'm playing, I just have a click track in my ears. I don't necessarily need something on me that's vibrating, but just having the product now, like I'm sure that there's some applications that I'm gonna be able to apply this to. Right away, I want to see like just sitting with a pad what kind of things like I can incorporate this into just like pad exercises whether or not it enhances the practice all those kinds of questions though I'm gonna answer in detail come the review video that'll follow up this video in a week or two I'm gonna take some time and really dive into all of the functionality on the product so uh yeah let's move on from here I'm gonna pull out if there's like an instruction manual somewhere here or like a quick start guide so that I can figure out how to get it powered up and put it on and that kind of stuff oh yes here it is Man Manual core. Okay, English, perfect. What's in the box? Yep, yep, yep. App and compatibility, uh, charging the core. Okay, so under battery life here, it says three days of regular usage or 2.5 hours of nonstop vibrating metronome usage. So yeah, it is essentially, it's like a smartwatch on top of being a vibrating metronome. Magnetic lock system, yep, familiar with that. Kind of locked into place and I can't really figure out how to get it off. Okay, there's a diagram right here. You just twist it. Well, that's simple enough. Just like that. Right on. I think I'm gonna start it with, actually, I don't know. I like the strap. Maybe I'll put it on leather first. So I'm just gonna adjust the strap so I can actually put it on my wrist. So there, the strap's on like that and I haven't attached the sound brenner. I'm just gonna take the, the core here and boom. You just put it on, it's super easy. It's a magnet, right? So, <laughs> okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's keep going through the manual and figure out how to get this guy fired up. So the strap itself, there's like a little docking mechanism. Like the guy that this is actually mounted to, this piece, I only have one of these it looks like. Actually, that's not true. I have a second here. I have two of them. I have one on this strap and one on this strap and I only have two straps on the device. So I'm probably just going to take this one off the body strap, put it on the silicone. That way I can just, if I want to play the drums with this and I'm, I know I'm going to be a long session, get sweaty, don't want to ruin the leather. I'll take the leather strap off and just put the silicone one on. But this part of the instruction manual is just telling me that there's rivets here that just loop around. You, I'll pull those up like this kind of thing, put them through the hook and then lock it shut on the other side and then the other strap's on. Uh, not too big of a deal. Let's move right along. Okay, cool. So the big takeaway from this page is bottom buttons, power on, power off. Let's do that. I'm gonna hold it long and power this guy on. Okay, so I stopped recording for a second because I could not figure out how to get this thing turned on. Um, I guess it just didn't come with a charge. So we plugged it in. I've got the power cable here and uh, now I've got a screen that just says setup and we're just gonna run through the setup. Okay, so it says soundbrenner.com slash start. I might have to go to that to actually set it up. So let me get a phone. All right, so I'm at soundbrenner.com slash start. This is what it looks like. Get started, choose language, English. So yeah, we have the core. We'll tap this one. Getting started with soundbrenner core. Download manual. Getting started video. Download the app on your phone or tablet. Open the app and follow the on-screen instructions. Easy enough, let's go download the app. We've downloaded the app. I just want to use this app. I have a soundbrenner pulse. I have a soundbrenner core. I have a soundbrenner core. Register, okay, give me a sec, gotta register. I hit register and it says, to learn more about your music skills, please tell us a few things about yourself. This will personalize your experience in this app. Let's go. Instrument, drums and percussion. Music style. Oh, there's metal, we'll do metal. And now we're at this screen, it says soundbrenner core. Play better anytime, anywhere. We're just gonna hit next. Charge your cord now. The orange light indicates the battery charge. Before you continue, make sure 25% of the ring or more is filled up. All right, we're back. We took a break to really figure out how to pair it. Um, I guess that we just had to get a sufficient amount of battery in the device. It was sort of orange for a while, and then we unplugged it and plugged it back in. The second we plugged it back in, it went green. And then on the app, we couldn't pair it at first, and we kept refreshing, uh, and it wouldn't discover. A few more tries, and now we're actually paired. So we're gonna take it from here. The device has turned green, and 
and uh, I think it's displaying, it's now displaying the time and a charge at 100%, so we can unplug this at this point since it is at 100. Let's continue on with uh, checking out the features that this guy has to offer on the app. Select the wrist in which you will wear your core. This will determine the orientation of the screen, left wrist. Uh, learn more about the decibel alarm. The core automatically measures the sound levels around you every 10 seconds. Once the volume reaches a risky level, it will alert you. Don't worry, we respect your privacy and no audio is ever recorded and stored. Decibel alarm. I think that's pretty cool and I guess that gives a lot of context to this guy over here as to why we have these. So if you're in an environment in which this detects it to be too loud, you got that on your keychain, you throw in your earplugs and your ears are protected. That's pretty cool. Learn more about the metronome lights. Your core will light up with each beat while you use the metronome. You can customize the lights later in the device settings. Now put the core on its rig and strap it on your wrist. We've already done that. I'll make sure the buttons point towards the direction of your hand. We'll hit next. Now it's saying navigate to the app menu. Open the app menu by pressing the bottom button. Navigate between apps by turning the wheel. Okay. Okay, so just circling through this, so we have a metronome, tuner, decibel meter, timer, stopwatch, and then the settings. We'll just hit next, see what the phone says. Open the metronome app. Navigate to the metronome app and open it by pressing the bottom button. We're on metronome, we'll press the bottom button. Set up the rhythm. Press the bottom button to select the BPM. Use the wheels to increase or decrease it. You can press the bottom button again to edit the next value or press the top button to go back. So we can set it to whatever there. I'll just put it at like whatever, 150. We'll keep it 4-4, we'll keep it quarters. Tap the sound wave twice quickly to start the metronome. Do the same thing again to pause it. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. It's lighting up yellow on beat one and then beats two, three, and four. It's lighting up, I guess, that green sort of aqua color. The uh, the vibrations are different too. I'm not sure if you can actually hear it in the audio. I doubt you can, but the vibration of the yellow pulse, the downbeat, is actually a little bit longer and it's kind of like a different feel compared to the other ones. It's a little bit more intense and it's a little bit longer. I guess that's just to signify the accent being on the downbeat. Tap the tempo. Tap the sound wave three times or more at a steady pace. The core will set new tempo that matches the average pace of your taps. We even have a decimal in that tap that I just created. So let me stop this. I think two is stop. Okay. So then if I do it three times, we got 154.6 twice to start. All right, we'll hit next, see what's up next. Try out different locations. Finding the location that works best for you is critical. Experiment with included body strap to get it right. Remember a vibrating metronome requires practice just like a regular metronome. Okay, try out the tuner app now. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. And setup is complete, finished device setup. Cool, so now we have a little bit of an interface here. I'm gonna actually stop this. Let me try this out, so. All right, that's weird. When I pressed play here, we got 120 being played out loud by the phone, but then it played at the tempo that we had set the watch to, which was 156 or something like that, 154 or something. Yeah, see, isn't that weird? I don't know. If I change, oh, okay, if I change, I'm scrolling on this wheel now, and now it's syncing up. You can see the numbers are the same. 147, 149, 150. That's pretty cool. What else do we have in here? So yeah, you can change the time signature. You can change note value. What's this, timer? Song duration, bars. Oh, that's cool. Time, see what settings has. So I guess we can add songs in here. Set list library, discover. Let's go to load. Library load, okay, so here you can load songs or set lists that you have created in the library. We haven't done any of that, so there's nothing there yet. All right, so there you kind of have it. I kind of took you guys just through like the basic concept of the device. I was actually synced to Lindsay's phone, but now I'm gonna go back through and sync to my phone. Lindsay was using my phone to actually fill in the overhead. Uh, I'm gonna sync to my phone after this. And apparently as of, I think it said as of uh, 2019, as of December, 2019, you could actually display phone notifications on the device. So I'm gonna check that out. Uh, I'm also gonna go through in detail just everything it has to offer and try those things out over the next couple weeks. I wanna sit down with a practice pad and go through some basic rudiments and exercises just using this watch maybe on my chest maybe on my leg maybe on my wrist try it out in a couple different configs to see if i can really stay in time with a vibration definitely definitely an interesting concept so yeah i'm gonna do all that over the next couple weeks and then i'm gonna come back with a review video and i'll, and I'll tell you guys if this was really a lot of use for me or not so i really hope you enjoy this unboxing video i put a link in the uh, near the top of the description down below it's a link to this product if you want to check it out if you want to pick one up for yourself 
itself, you can do so through that link. Thanks again to Soundbrenner for sending this guy out. Hope you guys all enjoy this unboxing video. If you want to connect with me further, you can do so at my social media pages are on the screen for you right now. If you want to support this channel, you can do so by checking out the merch link and the Patreon link in the description. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for checking out and I will see you guys all very soon with something new.